Well, despite the rain and our extremely wet winter and spring, Minnesota is very dry. The latest drought monitor shows over half the state is abnormally dry. Tonight, Devon Raming takes a closer look at why. As the sun beats down on Minnesota, healing us of our winter blues, this extra heat has climatologists seeing yellow on the state's drought monitor. It is cause for concern and it is worthy of noting as abnormally dry. Which for some may come as a surprise. We had the third snowiest winter on record. We saw record flooding here a couple months ago. All this extra moisture, why are we talking about drought conditions right now? Even when you are fully recovered, you know, it's it's really only four to six weeks of dryness to, to start drying things out. And if we don't start uh, getting some wet stuff on the ground, um, we can certainly start slipping back into drought regardless of how wet our winter was. Which is why experts say the summer months are most critical to avoid extreme drought conditions, similar to what we've seen the last two summers. May and June are our wettest months, and that is when we really need those rains for all, of course, the uh, the gardens and the farms and the farm fields, and we didn't get it in May, that's for sure. We were two inches plus behind for the month of May. So that is why the abnormally dry area of Minnesota in the last seven days doubled up to 65% of the state now. And this recent stretch of days in the upper 80s and 90s isn't helping. You get more evaporation, more water transpires out of the plants. And so you have to make up that demand by increasing the amount of rainfall. As the sun rays point to hotter days ahead, all hope isn't lost. And 84 counties are still drought free. Um, anything can happen over the next two weeks. Uh, we, we, could, we could recover from that pretty quickly. Now, experts say it's too early to tell if things will get worse, but we need an inch of rain a week for us to just maintain and for drought conditions not to worsen, Julie.